Hey everybody, welcome back to Frosty Gaming. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about which CPU company should you go with. Uh, the two companies out there uh, basically are Intel and AMD. So whichever side of the fence you guys are on, I'm gonna tell you guys my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, on who is better because I have owned both. Now at the end of this video, where I'm obviously gonna give you an answer, but what I wanted to talk about was I, I owned an AMD 8350 and a 6300 before the 8350 for quite some time when I first started out in my YouTube career. Now, I guess I wouldn't really call YouTube a career for myself, it's more of a hobby, but anyways, back to the subject. Um, AMD offers a really good budget-friendly CPU, but at a cost. You do have uh, a lot more heat. Um, the thing is, an Intel, an AMD 8-core CPU can do pretty much the same thing that an Intel 4-core CPU can do. Now, what I mean by that is when it, I'm trying to get into a little bit in depth here, what I mean is Intel, when they manufacture their chips, they have a much uh, deeper process that they go through. So when they're manufacturing their chips, the way that they lay out the uh, the processes and the board on their chips is and kind of the grid pattern. They found out a way to do lower wattage, but get more output out of it. So it's kind of like a, a, a singularity effect. Now, I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> now, as far as AMD goes, they just kind of produce a chip but it does a lot of the same things that, I mean, you can do a lot more things that say like an Intel chip can do. Each CPU wins in their own categories, but I'm just hoping to kind of ease your guys' buying process if you guys are looking for a little bit higher end CPU. Um, right now, obviously AMD hasn't been coming out with uh, chips or GPUs or chipsets as much as Intel has, or, and then on the GPU side of things. The thing with AMD is they make graphics cards and they also make CPUs. Intel, however, does not. They only make CPUs. Now, the fact that AMD can have both markets, GPU and CPU, they can lower the price point of their products because they sell a lot more things. I work in the sale industry and I can understand this because if you sell more volume of something, you can make it a little bit cheaper because you can buy it a lot cheaper in bulk. Um, so I understand where they're coming from on that part. Now, Intel, on the other hand, they only make CPUs mostly. So with the Intel making CPUs, their prices are going to be higher. But they realized that a long time ago and they made sure that if, they, if their prices are going to be higher, they're obviously going to have to be better than their competitors, which they are. Uh, Intel CPUs are widely used in gaming rigs. Um, if you're just getting in, started into gaming and you want a budget-friendly CPU, I would say go with the AMD CPUs, the 9590, but you're gonna have a really high wattage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack a pun or a joke right here. When I, when I switched from my AMD 8350 overclocked, uh, black edition, and I overclocked it, when I switched from that and an AMD card paired with it to my Intel Skylake 6700, even overclocked almost to 5.0 gigahertz, five gigahertz flat, whatever, and two 980 Ti NVIDIA cards overclocked, it's no longer a sauna in my room. This is a, a little bit smaller of a room. I'd say it's maybe 10 feet by 15 feet. And the AMD uh, Duo warmed up my room maybe 10 degrees, to be honest with you. and the combo that I have right now, the, nut, the twin 980 or SLI 980 Ti's and the 6700K Skylake, kind of it, it's 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 really nice to be in here now. I really like it. It's no longer a sauna. It's more like a freezer. <laughs> so, um, if you guys are looking, uh, that's because AMD. The reason why is because AMD puts out a lot more wattage, a lot more wattage. Uh, the equivalent of an i7 in the AMD category would be like a 9590. Um, or an 8350 or what have you. And the 9590, for instance, runs at 220 watts. The highest CPU wattage that Intel has, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe at this point is 125 watts, which is not much. It's really not all that much. It's not even close to AMD's. It's almost less than half. 
So, but they get more power out of it, which is really cool because they do a thing called hyper threading. So even though you have four cores, it treats it as eight cores. It's like duplicating those cores. I guess I can go more into explanation if you guys would like me to. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. But I hope I eased your buying process. If you want a budget friendly, it's gonna do really good. Go with a little bit higher end AMD CPU. If you want something that's gonna have less heat, less wattage, less uh, power bill, you know, your power bill, uh, electronic or electric usage bill, uh, obviously go with an Intel platform. Um, I can't really say too much more. If you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth, let me know in the comments down below. I am always looking towards, forward towards your feedback and uh, I always read you guys' comments. If you guys don't wanna miss any more videos in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button. We're doing a lot of new videos in the future. I don't want you guys to miss out on any of it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay frosty.